Two, two things. We've always had assessments. Assessments are part of, of education in New York. The Regents' exams date back to the 1860s. Uh, we've always had assessments. There'll always be assessments. Uh, to me, one of the key anxieties is around how, unfortunately, in some places, instruction has been reduced to test prep and to rote test prep. And I think a lot of the um, anxiety around assessments in American education today is a reaction to uh, pedagogical decision making that is um, misinformed. It actually turns out that doing rote standardized test prep activities causes students to do less well on the exams, not better. Uh, the kinds of instruction that will help students do well on the exam are the kinds of instruction that uh, engage students around reading, that help them see uh, the beauty in, in text uh, and the power of the words the authors chose to convey an idea, the kind of instruction that has students um, thinking through uh, math and how it applies in real world situations. That's the kind of instruction we want to see and to the extent that people respond to tests with a different kind of instruction, that's a mistake. And we all should be worried about that. But at the end of the day, the assessments are an important part of helping us understand how effective is the instruction that's being provided and it gives us information, the assessments give us information to inform schools, teachers, parents about how things are going and what needs to happen next, how much work is required to get students to college and career readiness. But I'd much rather know that in seventh grade uh, than find, find a student uh, not knowing that they're not prepared for college and careers until that first day of college when they sit for those placement exams and are told they have to go to high school classes instead of college classes.